I do actually have very good insurance. I have crappy. I mean, and because it's new, I have yeah, like a warranty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't have to. Uh, we're started. Well, welcome back. We're back. Uh, hey, Imch, give me a hey. perception check, please. Thirteen. Thirteen, cool. Uh, you find a note on the bedside table that appears to have been torn from a journal. It is in Dwarvish. Do you give it to... Yeah, I'll give it to someone that can speak the shit. Speak this garbage. Can't read it. Uh, we had to trade our last flint for a bowl of soup. It was amazing. We did not ask from whence the meat came. Oh, that's, that's lovely. That does not sound good at all. Jay, this is Eisenschmidt. Wait, let me, let me do a check mark. So we've already done that one. Okay. Jay. It is right here. Okay. Uh, it's locked. Whatever. Uh, there is a... Uh, let's see. This is a dwelling that has three skeletons in it. Uh, one of them has a plus one hand axe embedded in its skull. Shit. He uh, would. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just wave it around until the skull falls off. That's the only thing of really any note. I has nothing of note, nor does H. Alright. Uh, okay. K, nothing of note. And what's the other one? O? Evander is at O? Yes. Nothing of note. Okay, cool. B! There's nothing in here! I figured you just wanted to go down that hallway. Bob. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Genos? Dominus. B, give Dominus. me an investigation check. Dominus. <clears throat> I know you're super not so good at those. Uh, I have zero. I got a three. Okay, cool. Uh, you find... Stop in this room, guys. It's okay. It's you cool. find nothing of note in this room. Okay. Cool. I'm debating whether or not Elric should just go behind him and search something. Uh, N. That's a good idea. Is Eisenschmidt. Nothing of note. Did I have wings? M. Huh. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Oh! M. Who's that? Elric. Elric. Elric, oh, Elric yeah. speaks yeah. dwarven? Yes. Okay, I got cool. Fucking fine now. Hold oh, on. Yeah, um, right. It's gotta be a one. He never wrote shit. it down. Yes, he does. Cool. Written in blood on one of the walls. Oh, lovely, I love it. It says, Urusha, forgive us. Oh, balls. Anything else in the room? No. Okay. Well, there's furniture and stuff, but nothing of, of so this is importance. Uh, Ulfgar is at room L. Nothing of note. Alright, so Elric's going to go help Sai, instead of uh, going on his own. He's going to pee. That is the same yeah. letter. <laughs> Says you. Uh, let's see. C. Um, so Elric is going to do an investigation on B. C has nothing of note. Because he him. knows that uh, that Imsh is kind of an idiot. Okay. No offense. Investigation check. Nat twenty, so thirty one total. Cool. Um, covered in dust in one of the corners, um, there is a potion of healing. Just standard potion. Standard healing. healing. Cool. Heals 10 hit points. Yeah. Cool beans. All right. O. We've already done O, so move uh, Evander. You got S. To S, okay. Aha! Okay. S has nothing of note. Oh, nice. P. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> who? No. That's Psy. Oh, yeah. Psy. You told me there was nothing in P. Okay. I ha I, I'm not. Okay. That was in uh, K. I forget what you were before. P. Okay. Now here is. There's not going to be any battle here or anything because these are like CR2. Uh, there are four gas. Yeah. Gas? In no, this. It's, it's, it's like the upgraded ghoul. Uh, CR2. You can just go in and kill them all. You hear sounds of combat. But by the time you get over there, I don't even bother moving. It's it's done. It's side. Like it's it's over. Uh, there's, there's also a holler out there. You there's, right? there's a gnawed skeleton in there that they were that they had been kind of feasting on. These seem very uh, thin. <laughs> I guess. About how many hits would it take to kill 
Which one do you think? A ghast. Yeah, well, let's yeah, to get this hit. That's a good question. Because the ghast has like 30 hit points. Okay, because I want to try to take advantage of. Oh. You want to charge up your, yeah. your thingy bomb. Yeah. Go ahead and roll that four times. Four times? Okay. One. Six. You will acquire that many temporary hit points. That's, that's enough sword. to get me to max. Uh, He's good. Cool. So you have 30 hit points shored up in the weapon. Yep. Yeah. They have 36 hit points, so it would not take you long at all to dispatch them. Uh, like, maybe 12 seconds. Yeah. Like, not very much time at all. All right. Cool. Um, in here, there is a note written in... Um, a crazed looking dwarven script. You read dwarvish? I do. I, I, have a, I know a lot of languages. Well, handful. Common elven giant. <clears throat> read it for the class. Gain of Frostbeard. The nasty old hag is growing weaker. Unreadable. Delicious. Unreadable. Chianti. Chianti, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> was, was Mama Beans and Chianti. Chianti. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah. Uh, Chianti. 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 Yep, I did that on purpose. Because it intrigued me. <clears throat> and, you know, reasons. Uh, Ulfgar and Q are at Q. Nothing of note. What is R? R. Nothing of note as well. Um, uh, the, the Bob and Elric are at C. Yeah. Okay, C has nothing of note. Yeah. D also nothing of note. E <laughs> There is a note grasped in the hand of a dwarf skeleton lying on the bed. Elric does read Dwarvish. Probably it's a Dwarvish. <laughs> We're in Dwarf place. That's what girl was like, hey, why don't you give me back? And she's like, no, the but you get quickly. some milk. I'm like, and many of our numbers died store. shortly after quarantine. <laughs> I'm unfortunately among that number and go to the halls of Risha knowing who did our best, knowing we did our best. She puts that, that, that is this. not helpful, but thank you, old dwarf man. D-U-T. F has nothing of note. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, V U and T. Uh, T, okay. That will be sad. That's Psy. Okay, cool. There is a table here. A uh, pack of ancient dwarven playing cards is scattered about this room. And there appears to have been a struggle amongst the dwarves of this room over the game. In the middle of the table where they are playing cards, where they were playing cards, they're dead now, uh, is a scorched dwarven leg bone. Jesus. Likely the item they were playing for. Hey, Elric, can you come over here, buddy? The cards are yes. marked. Huh? <laughs> the cards, cards are marked. Are marked. <laughs> I was going to check for that. Yeah. I would like to have someone who can tell me if this is a magical or if they were just playing to eat it. Nat 20 again on our con. It was not magical. So there's nothing magic in this room? No. Okay. Um, I, I collect... The playing cards is it a full deck? Uh, you have it. It it or is it takes you like a minute or so because the cards are kind of scattered. An but extra you, full deck. You can find all of the cards. Are there extra cards? Oh, thank uh, you. Yes. Only the calories. <laughs> yeah. Bastards. Like a uh, sixty card deck. Yeah. I know that. All marked. You <laughs> has so nothing stuff. of note. <laughs> I'm asking. And uh, V in the far corner of this room is a uh, what's that? I have Enters labeled for as a desserts. Recitech, which is a receptacle <laughs> of technos. Uh, basically, what casters use. Uh, it is attuned to stone, and it is a deep gray glow. Uh, that's Close. it's very faint, <laughs> but deep gray glow. This will allow the holder to cast up to ten levels. Of earth based spells such as move earth and the like. So, it does it, do, they, do they have to be proficient in that type of arcane magic or could it be made? Uh, can you cast earth based magic? Stone shape. 
Yes, it can be you. Oh, and uh, Earthquake. <laughs> okay. It's a level 8 spell. I don't know that you want to use that in Apple Shard. Shard. Hey, if, all, if it all goes to shit. Fair. <laughs> Bring it down. Alright, cool. So this area is done. Um, actually, and was, there, space was there yep. only an S or in that room yeah. back in the corner? Uh, uh, S the that lets us has Dude. nothing. Uh, if and I use it, I'm F going back to square one. one. We so walk into that first temple that with oh, the water fills up. This <laughs> is <laughs> a bathroom. <laughs> with still functional plumbing. So you We're good at shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're clear, everybody. This area is clear. Next. Let's go to the next room. Can we just okay. systematically, just as a party, just run through? Yeah. Instead of moving? Yeah, sure, that's fine. Uh, so as far as like... Just to, for interest of time. For interest of time, that's fair. So this area, when you like get close to the door, before you open it into this area, you actually hear... Uh, kind of noises. Um, and again, Thunderx, is that you? <laughs> I, <laughs> I am offended. Go, I'm go offended. on. It's a lightning bolt. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> so he that's, can't. That's a dangerous move mm -hmm. to do. He can't do that to him. Well, he could. Well, he can. It would be a bad but idea. He'd run the risk of breaking his phylactery. Oh, he knows it'll break his phylactery. He knows it won't break his phylactery. You gotta have something else to do that. Um, we'll so it. this area s also has a lot of skeleton type folks. I'm gonna uh, run like, in like like skeleton, dead skeletons, and also uh, it's actually pretty crowded. It's got 25 guests and 20 ghouls. Oh, that's fine. I'm but, going to run into this room and have them mob me and cast. I'm and, going to and, turn undead. And do turn undead. They're gonna just poof dust, and that's fine. It happens. <laughs> uh, they're weak. They're not really there to be a challenge. It's just there for story purposes. Uh, again, the combat would be irrelevant. It, it's fun. It would be fun to just go in and wreck everybody, but it's not ultimately for time purposes. Again, we'll yeah. be right along. That. I just want the cinematic purpose of this of Ulfgar just running well, in and shouting with his axe. Just now you do yeah! notice that a lot of these ghouls and gas are small. Dwarven. Are dwarven. Yeah. Great. But yes, you I'll send you back evaporate home. Evaporate a bunch of them. There's only one dog. Okay. They all turn to dust, by the way. Just the so everybody knows. Yeah, skipping yeah, the, the um, make sure you put in the notes for the address. Oh, I'm just gonna call them. Do you guys want anything? I was gonna get a, everyone like the oh, no, after. Parmesan bites, cool. just to have. Do you guys want anything else? Yeah, look, no, I don't have a third bag. Can we? <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Sponsored, not sponsored, yeah. not, not sponsored, not a sponsor. Not you want to get pizza bites? <laughs> uh, but we are open to it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, as long as the pizza bites would be free. All right. So basically, food. what we're gonna do <laughs> yes, is me. is so ignore no. <laughs> all of the rooms that feet. have nothing of use. In them. No, uh, nothing in these rooms. No, like we're going to ignore the ones that have nothing. Oh, okay, fair. Then the fourteen C. Get to that one first because we're just going to go down the list here. Elric shall investigate. Uh, cool beans. This room was the site of something horrible. The original wall color is unknown as there was so much old blood soaked into the walls. There are a few pieces of parchment in the room, but there is too much blood to make them readable. Uh, but they can be cleaned with things like precipitation and the like. Uh, if you wish to, oh, we'll go ahead to and do that. see that. You can, if it is used, uh, you can see that there are uh, notes on it that this room was repurposed, because it was also a dwelling at some point, was repurposed as a uh, processing area. And you find this. Oh, it's a big one. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's like 134th Avenue. What? What? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, you said processing area. Is there a cauldron in here? Let's text the address. To me. 
Oh. Because we don't want to say that aloud. Okay. On the internet. Um, they might send us great stuff. You know you can uh, actually send someone elephant poop? Yes. Yeah. yeah, so let's not put the address out there. <laughs> I will well, send it to you, you Corey. Corey. That's a fantastic mm-hmm. fertilizer. I'll send it to you. Yeah, that works. Because I don't have his... Me do. Uh, well, I do. I just don't have it, like, quickly on on hand. Uh, I have your your phone number in my phone as Dungeon Master. <laughs> good. Good, good. Do you want to share that with the rest of the class? I, I want to. I want an answer to my question first. What is there a cauldron in here? And you know, no, uh, there are tables, cool. and a lot of uh, bones that have cuts on them. Is there a meat grinder? Meat yes. Grinder. Shit. Over your shoulder and is yeah. It, and I, yeah. So, I, I have this sneaking suspicion, especially with this list and everything else we've gathered up to this point, that. The dwarves who lived here may have eaten each other. Edge, any thoughts? Um, they're tasty. Tasty dwarves are tasty. Dwarves are tasty. So the this, fuck? this list is a na- is a list Evil of na- this this paper is a is a list of I'm names. Like one away from shifting. This <laughs> is a list of names with their causes of death listed, uh-huh. and another column. That reads safe, yes or no. So, poisoned was better not risk it. Demonic weaponry was a maybe. Disease was a no. Everything else, just mundane causes of death, was a yes. So I'm assuming they were making a list of people to eat. Hmm. And one, two of the causes of death are meat grinder. Nice. Yeah, grab them up good. And the bones. I'm, your... I'm actually going to punch you now. <laughs> and the bones in your ground, Roll your ground dwarf. <laughs> Roll the attack. What is your AC? 22. It would be an unarmored attack, what would I add? Just my strength modifier and proficiency? Yeah. Now, keep in mind, my demonic weapon doesn't like what people... <laughs> my demonic weapon doesn't like what people 22. fuck with me. <laughs> hmm? I hit 22. Okay. You'll swag don't like people fucking with me. Well, that was... Uh, Rain or still mod? Unarmored. Or still one. Still mod. <laughs> 11. 11 to hit. I mean, 11 damage. 11 damage, all right. We'll shake it off. <laughs> <laughs> Quit insulting your relatives. <clears throat> okay. Cool. Um, moving on from that disturbing room, 14D, which is the adjacent room. Uh, this room was repurposed as a tool room containing all the equipment needed to butcher creatures. Great. A lot of bloodstained... Weapons and cloths and the like. Uh, okay. 14E, which is, again, Jason. Those southern guys are really messed up in the head. Uh. <laughs> southern wall folk. Well, it was all kind of combined. They eventually kind of clustered together. Uh, this room has a stack of the belongings of the deceased. Ooh! Piles of shoes, clothes, scraps of armor, along with the odd weapon, are stashed in haphazard piles upon this area's floor. Uh, searching it, you find about, um, let's say, maybe 100 gold throughout that. Okay, 100 gold. Area. Um, four... Uh, 14, rather, F, which is, again, further down that zone, uh, you find this room contains a simple note stashed away near the pillow on the bed that seems to have been designed for a child, and it's actually in what is obviously a child's handwriting. Oh, lovely. Um, you, sir, are fucked up in the head. Just right to tell you that right now. I'll find this. I'm going to read it. All right. Children, they have tender like veal. I need the accent with an eye. What I had. So hungry. They're meeting to discuss what to do down the hall. I hope they figure something out soon. I just thought of something. The pages are edible, right? Let me try. Yes, they are. I will try to only eat around the edges. Thank you, diary. You're saving my life. Adra Iron Fist. Fuck you. Adra is also named on the list. I, I noticed that. 
I want to check her cause of. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Meat grinder, huh? Meat grinder, yeah. Like like baby veal, so tender. <laughs> <laughs> you are just cruising. You cruising for You're a cruising for an axe to the face. Fourteen G, which is in the same kind of general area. Um, it was locked. You use the key to open it. Uh, this room is full of blankets, pillows, etc. But take care of it. outside of that, nothing of, of any particular note. Uh, then we get to 14J, uh, which is kind of at the end there. This room is actually filled with uh, beds and other bits of furniture that were moved to this room from other rooms, like the repurposed room. Um, 14K. Is where we started to get some more interesting stuff. This room contains within it a series of drawings written in blood and chalk Joy. that showcases potential plans for escape. The drawings go from left to right and become more and more ridiculous the further you go, uh, incorporating unrealistic items like catapults and other such deadly items. Uh, the very last thing that is showcased on the walls in very small text is the phrase, Urusha, forgive us. Again. Second time we've seen that. 14L, you find two potions. Oh. Uh, for the sake of brevity, I'll tell you what they are because you can just we can figure it out. General Arcana checks or whatever to figure it out. One of them is a potion of hill giant strength, which gives your gives you strength of 21 for Not I cool. believe it's an hour. Yeah. Uh, after drinking it, and then one of them is a potion of climbing, which gives you a climb speed. Yeah. Useful to have. Yeah, yeah. they really right. climb pretty quick. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna throw those in my bag and hold it. A bear. I'm a bear. They're so climb faster than they run. Not in D and D. I climb well. I climb well. I mean, I can climb at my. You climb well. Nice to meet you. I'm Evan. Fourteen O is our next one of importance. <laughs> Again, we're just kind of going going down the uh, lovely oh, list here. Yeah, I keep going down the list. A group of dwarves Bugging. lies dead it's in this room. Very rainy oh. outside. <laughs> uh, seemingly having been fighting amongst themselves. Oh, probably just screwed that. On a small right. table to the right oh, of the door down. is a small sealed barrel, still sealed. Got nice seal on it. Um, it's unmarked. Uh, if you would like to Drink open it, it. you're immune to poison, right? Yep. You want to give it a shot? Okay. Really? <laughs> hmm? I'll drink it. 60 miles per hour wind gust and nickel sized hail. Shit. Joy. Expect damage to roof, sidings, and trees. <laughs> Great. I hope we keep power. Oh, shit. If okay, candles. What's your recording now? Okay. If we lose power, we're gonna keep playing, and we'll just catch you up. We'll, we'll do a special video just At to just to do that a summary. Point. Although we won't be able to stream, but we can still record because my computer still has battery power. It's easy. We so have the technology. <laughs> what do we do about light? We don't have oh. the flashlights. Uh, candles. Candles, flashlights, we'll figure D &D it out. D&D by the candlelight? I don't think it uh, will. Back in the good old days. We wear robes and goat horns, too. <laughs> All right. Uh, the barrel. Not bringing that back. <laughs> Are you opening the barrel, son? Yeah, I guess. You're into poison. Come on I'll now. drink it. I don't give a fuck. You, well, you can't drink it because it's not drink. Well, I'll open oh, it up. Shit, you, more stew. You, you go. Uh, you have a dagger, I assume, somewhere. Yeah. Uh, you, you kind of pop open it. Um... It actually is sealed. Was sealed very nicely. It's still relatively intact. Um, it is dried meat. Yeah, we're not eating that. I'll take a bite. No. Uh, medicine check. Medicine check. Okay. I can do that. I'd see. They just had to look in that barrel for food. Thirty. They starved to death for no reason. Thirty. Actually, thirty-one. Excuse me. 31. Ah. Yes. Uh. You know exactly what it is. This is dwarf. Right? It's dwarf. Yeah. Resurrect him. Technically, I can. 
Or let me eat the meat. I mean, I <laughs> let me eat I'm kind of hungry. I've never then resurrect them. All this, talk, all this talk of food is making me a little peckish. You're very peckish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Think about what you're, what kind of food we're talking about right here. Okay. Um, uh, we yeah. were, we're going to take a break, like an actual break. We'll do this. Uh, and then, not that you guys will notice on, on YouTube, but on Twitch you will. And we'll be back uh, in a little bit. Later! <laughs>